Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Fishing Coach YouTube channel. I'm Coach E. I just got done with the fishing trip, and guys, I had a chance at a pretty good bag, but I didn't execute. And I'm going to share with you guys my breakdown, what I came out here today on these brutal cold conditions. I mean, most of the time it was under freezing. Got some pretty sweet live scope shots for you guys too. Hopefully you learned something from it, and let's go get into it. So for this day, guys, I was down at Lake DeGray in the Hot Springs area, Central Arkansas. Guys, cold day. Uh, as the temperatures never got above freezing, air temperatures never got above freezing until three o'clock. Weatherman was supposed to, you know, weatherman was off a little bit. Got out to the lake about 12, 1230, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now talk about the map, areas I went and fished, show you guys the footage, and kind of uh, struggles I went through. As I said, cold, cold day. Uh, here we are. Now, I picked the lower end of the gray for a couple reasons. Reason one, the water clarity. Uh, we had all the rain, snow, coming in the lake, and if you look at that water clarity map, it's pretty muddy to stain in that north section. And water temps was 41 degrees, guys, at this lower end, and I knew it was gonna be cold. So I did not want to go up the lake where it was cold, cold, muddy water. I didn't want to fish that today. I didn't want to in my short a lot of the time. I want to stay on the lower end where it would not be as much affected. I mean, it got affected, but not as much. And so I stayed on that lower end, we had an east wind. And this is a lake, me growing up guys fishing. East is the least and west is the best. But guys, you're gonna see they still bit today with that east wind. Now start off in Brushy Creek, which is a major creek on the southeast corner. You're looking at it right here. Guys, I start off in Brushy because it's a creek that's probably beat me more than I have beat it. I've caught fish in Brushy, had some good days in Brushy, but it kicks my butt. I just, it kicks my butt, and it kicked my butt this trip. Now with that east wind that was blowing in there, uh, I started off doing a lot of graphing, and I actually wanted to go try to catch some shallow fish right away. That midday period, uh, I know there's some big fish caught shallow here, and I was gonna try. 40 minutes of fishing shallow grass, submergent uh, vegetation, I didn't, I failed. Then I started graphing, guys, trying to find brush piles, timber, never saw bait, but then I had this happen. So guys, during this wind down here, and since it never got above freezing, stuff was freezing in my boat, my rods, my guides, but then I had something happen to where my trim tab was frozen. Guys, like my trim tab, like it wasn't frozen in the throttle, but it was frozen somewhere. So I had to go back there, undo the battery, I had to go get in, um, I had to go get out of the wind to kind of maybe hope it thawed. And guys, how I have my boat set up, of course I have trolling motor batteries, but I have my live scope on a totally battery by itself. So I could still fish. So as, as I kind of let all that kind of go down, you know, luckily it thawed. I don't know what happened. Um, I was worried for a bit because I thought I was about to get stuck with my motor down because it literally was just going down the whole time. I couldn't raise it up. And I was like, I'm about to not be able to get my boat on the trailer. Uh, so. Now guys, after all that, I decided to get out of the wind in a way. So I moved, and I'm gonna follow the map. We went up here to the state park area, okay? Now up here in the state park area, I say state park, this whole kind of region right here is kind of considered state park. I went to another major creek. Now with this, earlier as you guys, I, I kind of mentioned it, I was gonna fish the mouths of the creeks for offshore. On the deep dive app, it said for the shallow pattern, guys, main lake. And so kind of that mouth of brushy, I was kind of kind of thinking about that being main lake. But as I got in these creeks, the mouths of them for an offshore pattern. No! No! That was a good one! Guys, guys, here I am at the mouth of a creek right now, man. I'm trying to get out of this wind, man. It has been miserable. I've gone a few hours. I've mostly graft, and I mean graft, graft. I've not found any bait fish today. 
Oh, I don't want to get to that. I've not found any bay fish, but here comes the mouth of the creek. I wanted to get out of this east wind, and um, man, there's a brush pile up here just off this marina deal. I know there's a law. I'm not. I'm not casting at that. I'm staying away from that as far as I'm supposed to. Why are you throwing, throwing this at a brush pile? Well. With forward facing sonar it does help but i know there's something about i've swam swim baits at them before and earlier guys i, I swam this hangover over a, a, of, of one at this a bigger swim bait down here and man fish just came out this lake here man like the fish just love brush piles at this lake i've tried fishing some grass and man it's just i've i've not found any fish in the grass uh, on this place gosh it's cold man it's under 32 degrees it's not supposed to be but uh this place they sell an alabama rig so i'm just trying to throw something different you know than an alabama rig i got one up here I've uh, thrown it a little bit today, but it's yeah, been a struggle. And like that. So guys, now I know you just watched my live scope footage, but I'm gonna go ahead now and on this part of the video, I'm gonna share a couple clips and teach y'all and walk y'all through it just so everything you see. We have a brush pile right here. Now this brush pile is right off that break wall, right off this rounded point that I'm gonna show you guys right here, okay? And it's probably no, this isn't probably a secret. I've actually, I mean, I've never fished it, but I'm saying other people have. So that was placed there nicely. And there's actually some grass kind of hanging around there too. But now I'm gonna go back to the footage. You see that brush pile and you're wondering, you know, why were you throwing this to Mickey rig or finesse swim bait? And that was my two lures that excelled today as you're about to see. And I, I caught some fish as we're about to go on. Guys, I threw Alabama rigs earlier in the day and the fish were not reacting like I wanted to. And um, I know if you don't have forward facing sonar, I'm just doing this to show you and teach you guys. I'm not, okay, I'm, that's all I'm doing with this is helping you guys out if you have it or not. So with that finesse swim bait, I'm swimming it right above that brush pile and some fish came out, okay? Now that fish came out was on the bottom and I just tried to reel it to keep it right above its head and it finally committed, I fought it and I don't know, that was my first fish that came off on one of these things in a, in a while, guys, like after fighting. So it just wasn't my look of the draw. Now, guys, now as we're looking at it, this is a mouth of a major creek. So I'm going back to the, uh, the, the, uh, the Google Earth here. Major creek, okay? So or I, I'm calling it not a major creek, a creek. This it might not be a major creek. But you see the creek beds, okay? I actually graphed this high spot out here where you see my cursor right now. I should have made my cursor bigger for this. I might remember that for the next video. If you guys like this type of video, leave it in the comments. So um, so then though, I went through here, I graphed. Now those trees, you're about to see where my cursor is. There's trees out here that I saw fish on, okay? I then kind of came up here, dropped the scope, and I just wanted to go up this break wall to see. And then I saw that brush pile. There we go. Now I came back around it, and you're about to see some more live scope footage. I came back around, and what happened there now was... Oh no, he came off! Of that fish I just lost, I mentioned the second fish I lost among, among the break wall. Here they are down here on the bottom. Now, I already kind of saw them, and I didn't throw them right away because my boat, I wanted to get my boat position right. They showed themselves, they're tied to the bottom, and they look like pretty good fish when I saw them, right? Here they might not. Here comes, now this was the last, I took the freeloader off after this. I downsized, like I said, to two smaller swim baits. Now I'm throwing up against that wall. All this right here is just the, the return of the metal from the wall. There's wires around here. I actually got my giant spoon hung on one of these wires. Got it off though. Um, so, now you don't see nothing right now. I'm, I'm swimming it though. I know it's there. Like you see, they're following it right now, okay? And like I said, the wind's blowing up here. I'm not in the best spot. My cursor is where it is. Like, look, 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 there he is. He's following it. He's following it. Look at these dudes. These right here are some good fish. Okay, remember, this is a five foot. I keep my blocks on here, guys, to help teach and show you potential size of fish. So that's a five foot block, and it's in a good potential spot. So this could be an 18 inch fish. Okay, right? It can be an 18 inch fish. Um, now this was here, what happened here, he ate it right there, and I, there he goes. So he barely, he just didn't eat it good. But see, I felt the thick, and I set, and it just came right off. Not like that other one that was there for, for, for that was actually on, and I fought it. Then, that was a good one. I lost two good fish right there, guys. Two good fish. On my day, I ended up with like probably under 12 pounds, but these two would have put me, I mean, in a good bag for this lake right now. I mean, it would have. Um, so I went back to the trees and I downsized 
my Demiki rig. I ended up going to the Strike King 3C2. I also later in the day through the Mega Bass has Dong Shad. So guys, here is a tree clip, okay? I ended up catching six spotted bass off this tree. They weren't big, 13, 14 inches. Some of them were pretty thick though. I mean, they've been eating. So I'm gonna show you this trip, uh, this clip, okay? Let me make sure, oh, my Demiki rig's already here. My Demiki rig's already there, okay. So there comes my Demiki rig down, okay, down. Uh, now I've already caught, I think two fish at this point off this thing. And uh, I didn't have chest footage. Guys, my chest footage don't hit pause. There's my, there's my Demiki rig. My chest cam froze during all this and I lost this footage. I had a couple of dash cam shots that I'll show you though. So here is my Demiki rig, okay? I'm just trying to keep above now. Now you don't really see them as well. I've already, like I said, caught two. Probably need to slow down my talking. Already caught two, but I knew they were kind of right here in this tree since I already caught two. Now these dudes over here, crappie. The crappie were hanging around. They got out of there. And guys, if you're crappie fishermen and have learned crappie don't always stay around the brush piles, you might catch one or two and they move. But those dudes left, okay? And then there's my Demiki rig right there, my Demiki rig. Now I'm fishing and you gotta remember guys, I use the app to get out of the wind, but I was still kinda in the wind of just a little bit, okay? That east wind, I was kinda, it wasn't all getting blocked. So I'm out here moving the boat around, you know, I'm trying to keep it on these fish, but I know it's down there and I'm still fishing, okay? I'm still fishing, not just staring at the screen the whole time. So, and there it goes, and this point you're gonna see it get, I got eight, and there goes that fish right there, fighting it up. Okay, so after I caught them fish out there, I've lost two, caught these right here. I then was like, hey, brush pile, timber, and guys, I've been wanting to find some timber fish for you to see, and I grabbed some more, couldn't find any. So then I went to a couple other brush pile spots, graphed. That's cool. That was cool. Get in here. That's a big old spot there. Okay, now looking at this footage here, just so, like I said, once again, I'm doing this to help you guys. We have the brush pile right here. Probably a little closer than I wanted to, but I didn't have my front graph up there, my other front graph. So I marked it, and then I just kind of went up there after I graphed or back around looking for other fish. I just, you know, ended up dropping the trolling motor, going and looking. So I don't want to be this close. But there it goes. Now, this was the Mega Bass Hasdong Shad, a little small finesse swim bait. Uh, where are we at? I just dropped it in. Here it goes. So here we go. Right there, we're swimming it, swimming it, swimming it. Now at this moment, you might not see fish. You might now know that these two could be fish. Now when I kind of worked my way up, I thought I did see a kind of fish up in it and go down, okay? So this was a cool fish catch. There it is, and here he comes. Watch this. Boom, got him. That was a pretty sweet fish catch, okay? Just a cool to see that happen. Hey guys, after that, I ended up running a couple more brush piles, catching some other good-sized spotted bass like that. Um... But guys, I, I also ended up, as I went back towards the ramp, I found some more fish, caught my biggest on the day, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I think those fish aren't gonna go far, and there's a lot more there, and so if I can get back out there on the lake, maybe catch those, or they might be gone, and try to get a video, because it'll be a pretty cool video of how I ended up catching that fish. But guys, um, it's like some of the day that uh, the lures was all kind of that little finesse swim bait style. They wouldn't eat an Alabama rig. Uh, I, I even threw the big swim bait. I, I, I have a cool clip. I want to save it for another video. I threw the, the hangover at brush piles, and fish were just coming up. It just wasn't happening, okay? And I could just tell I wasn't going to keep throwing these things, pull fish out, and then not, not catch them, okay? Uh, but guys, let me know if you like this style of video. Uh, any more questions or anything, leave it in the comments. Here to help you guys. Um, appreciate it. And also, I'm always open to ideas on videos. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.